marchers marched, the deputies searched, and the police cracked heads. On June 1st, it was all settled. Lemelin stepped out, and in his place, de Gaulle. First, de Gaulle appeared in the assembly to announce his program. He would change the French Constitution, and he would end the Algerian War. The assembly applauded. Then de Gaulle flew to Algiers to greet the men who had brought him to power. Salon. Soustel. Massou. For all of them, it was a moment of triumph. Never again would de Gaulle stand so high in the estimation of all the Algerian people as he did at this minute. The sons of Algeria salute de Gaulle. He had everything, even ticker tape. In his first speech to the Algerians, de Gaulle began to lose favor. In the circumstances, he was moderate. Nowhere did he mention that Algeria was French. Il est courageux, mais qu'il n'en est pas moins cruel et fratricide. Moi, de Gaulle, à cela, j'ouvre la porte de la réconciliation. The war is fratricide, he said. He, de Gaulle, would lead them to a reconciliation. Vive le général de Gaulle! Vive le général Salon! Vive le général Massu! Vive Monsieur Toussaint! There were plenty of heroes that day. Back in France, de Gaulle faced two tests. He offered the voters two proposals. One, a new constitution to establish the Fifth Republic. The second, his own name as candidate for the presidency of the new government. There was no contest. The new constitution was approved, and de Gaulle swept into office. He received more than 80% of the vote. De Gaulle assumed the appendages and prerogatives of his new office. De Gaulle went on television to spell out his program. The most interested spectators, the French settlers in Algeria, they were bitterly disappointed. De Gaulle offered independence to all of France's colonies in Africa, except Algiers. But he did not say Algeria was part of France. Next, De Gaulle ordered his army officers to get out of Algerian politics. He recalled Salon. General Salon said farewell to his troops. The settlers demanded he stay, but Salon left. The same crowd turned on de Gaulle's premier, Michel Debray, at a public ceremony. They boo him. Then de Gaulle ordered Massou out of Algeria, and once again the settlers revolted. Under the leadership of Pierre Lagaillard, they went to the barricades. 
At first, the army, especially Massu's paratroopers, sympathized with the settlers. Provisions came in freely. Then fresh troops arrived. Under specific orders from de Gaulle, they forced the rebels from the barricades. La Gaillard walked out, head high, still the hero of the settlers. In November 1960, the war began its seventh year. Memorial services marked the anniversary, and even in the churchyard, the terror was felt. Pro-Gaullist and anti-Gaullist battled at the university, and de Gaulle, for the first time, talked of an Algerian republic and called for a vote on his Algeria program. December 9, 1960, de Gaulle arrived in Algeria to campaign for a yes vote in his referendum. He would campaign in the back country. In Algiers, the settlers marked his visit with a parade. The shouts of de Gaulle to power were now de Gaulle to the gallows. Black-helmeted security police were caught in the middle of a ring around the Rosie. The police charged the demonstrators. The demonstrators threw stones at the police. Back and forth, they chased each other. A never-ending round of violence. Bitter, crushing, endless violence. Police switched to new weapons, tear gas bombs and concussion grenades. When things got too hot on the main streets, the demonstrators retreated down narrow side alleys. When the police went down the alleys, the demonstrators reappeared on the boulevards. Tear gas bombs got both demonstrators and spectators. was imperturbable. He avoided the big cities. He went through the countryside, disregarding his own security officers to shake every hand in sight. In Algiers, the police relinquished their battle to the army. The crowd greeted the army as saviors. Hoisting soldiers on shoulders, they paraded down the streets. They were sure the army would stand aside as it had done the year before. Students started building barricades. This time it was different. The troops moved right in. Stones were not much help against tanks. The soldiers took the barricades. They drove the demonstrators from the streets. Some soldiers were hurt, and some bystanders wound up in the hospital. But it appeared that the demonstrations had ended without severe damage. De Gaulle, too, appeared to be winning his battle. For every French settler who shouted, Algeria is French, there were a dozen Muslims to grab his hand and shout, Vive de Gaulle! <laughs> 